this is the second video on GIS lab practical lesson. In this video, we are going to take a look at the overview of Quantum GIS software. And also, we are going to learn how to install the software. Before then, let me quickly show you a good practice. And also, the data we are going to be using throughout this video series. I have created and saved my data on my computer, my C drive. So I will navigate to the location and I save it inside this folder called GIS project. Inside of the folder, we have three other folders which I created. I call them raster, vector and other folders. So let me quickly explain the content of this folder. In the raster folder, we have an imagery, a scanned image representing an analog map of a town called Nasarawa in Nigeria. So we are going to be using this data, this raster data which is a scan map throughout this video series. Then in the vector folder, presently it is empty. Here we are going to be saving all our vector files inside of this folder. Then in the others folder, we have two other files inside of it. We have the Nasrawa Town coordinates and student, spatial, and attribute data. The content of these two files will be utilized in the coming videos. So basically, these are the data we are going to use throughout this video series. So now, let's take a look at the overview and the installation of our Quantum GIS software. First of all, you need to download the latest version of Quantum GIS by going to the official website at www.qgis.org Just in case if you don't know, Quantum GIS is also called QGIS popularly pronounced as QGIS So when you log on to the website as at the time of recording this video, the latest version is 1.8.0. So from the official website, you can easily download the latest version of the Quantum GIS and install it on your personal computer. So Quantum GIS is an open source geographic information system software that runs on major operating systems such as Linux, Unix, Mac, Windows, Android and so on. So in this video series, I'm going to be using Quantum GIS on Windows operating system. So after downloading the Quantum GIS software, you need to install it as follows. I have downloaded my software and I have it here on my desktop. So now I'm going to be installing it. Double click on it and then you'll be presented with this setup window. Click on next. Click on I agree. And then click on next. If you don't want to set, if you don't want to install it on this directory, you may change it to another directory. Then click on next. If you wish to install sample data, you may check some of this sample data. But note, you must be connected to the internet before you be able to install this sample data. So click on install to install the application. So the software will take several minutes to install depending on the speed of your computer.
So the installation is almost done. At the end of the installation, you have to click on finish to terminate the installation. Upon installing the Quantum GIS software, about five icons will be displayed on your computer screen. The two primary ones we are going to be using are this and this. So you may go on and delete the remaining icons so that your desktop will not be overcrowded with so many icons. Actually, these are icons linking to other major programs within Quantum GIS, such as the Grass and then the OSG. OSGO programs within Quantum GIS. So now double click on the Quantum GIS desktop icon to launch your Quantum GIS for the first time. So Quantum GIS will load on your system depending on the speed of your system it will take a while to do for the first time when it finishes loading you will be presented with this welcome screen now congratulations QGIS has been successfully installed on your system so I will stop here for this video in the next video we will take a look at the interface of Quantum GIS in detail. So till then, have a nice day and thank you for watching this video.